Hello, Julie. I'm glad you were able to make it this afternoon. I'm afraid we need your help again. Well, as always, I am happy to be of assistance. What's going on? Six Sigma. Six Sigma? Yes. Our corporate office is asking if we have it, and I am not quite sure what it is. Is it good or bad? I'm guessing it is good, so I told them we have it. Well, Six Sigma is a quality improvement or problem-solving methodology. Well, that's a relief to hear. Yes. Six Sigma was developed in the 80s at Motorola. The goal of the program was to develop Six Sigma quality by improving processes. Six Sigma quality translates to 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Utilizing the Six Sigma project management approach called DAMAIC, we work toward this goal. DAMAIC? That doesn't sound very good. Well, it stands for define, measure, analyze, improve and control. This five-phase approach is used for solving problems. We begin in the define phase by defining the problem. We also define the customer requirements in this phase. Then, we measure through observation and data collection in the second phase to gain a thorough understanding. Well, that sounds like a reasonable approach. Yes. Then, we analyze the data in the third phase to understand the root cause or causes of the problem. We sometimes call these the critical X's. Critical X's? Like my ex-wives? No. No. As in X's and Y's. You know. There is an out but we call Y. For example, defect rate. And the X's are the inputs. Those things that affect the output. Ah, I get it. For example, the defect rate on a machine might be related to the speed or the material. These might be X's. Exactly. Once we've determined their key factors or root causes, we develop and select solutions in the improve phase. Finally, in the control phase, we develop a plan for process management going forward. Things like control plans, process dashboards, or statistical process control are used. Excellent. Now, I must admit, I also heard some rumblings about belts. Would I need to go out and buy everyone colored belts in order to do Six Sigma? No, not at all. In Six Sigma, we have master black belts, black belts, green belts, and yellow belts. Master black belts and black belts are the experts who lead and advise. Green belts can also lead projects, and they are considered key contributors to process improvement. While yellow belts have a basic knowledge of Six Sigma and its tools, Excellent. How do we become a certain level belt, such as a black belt? Well, you become certified by completing training, executing projects, and passing an exam. Well, you've done it again. Thanks for educating us in Six Sigma. You are very welcome. By the way, where did you learn so much about Six Sigma? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group www.emsstrategies.com They offer training, consulting, and other online resources. Excellent. I will be visiting www.emsstrategies.com straight away.